Hello, my name is Mike, and I want to talk to you about how to teach languages. And to understand how to teach, we have to understand how we learn a language. So when you think about it, when we learn a new word or a new expression, it goes through several different phases before we really know the word perfectly. I like to think of it as a pyramid. And the words travel up the pyramid as they cement themselves into our brains. And we become more and more comfortable with the words and how to use them. So, the first level of the pyramid is... It sounds familiar. This is that word that, oh yeah, I don't know exactly what it means, but it does sound familiar, you know, uh, ubiquitous. Yeah, ubiquitous, yeah, no, hmm, I don't, hmm, yeah. Sounds, sounds familiar. Well, that's the introduction of the word into our brain. Now, the next level is you understand the word in context. Yeah, when someone uses the word and in the structure of the sentence, oh yeah, I understand what ambiguous means. Yeah, when, when you use it like that, uh -huh. yeah, okay, I understand it. But you never use the word. Right, you don't feel comfortable using word, you would never use it. It doesn't form part of your normal vocabulary. That's the next level. The third level is you can define the word, but it still feels awkward, right? You, you don't feel really comfortable with the word. Yes, you understand it, you can explain what it means, but when you use it, it doesn't feel comfortable, it doesn't feel normal, yeah? You all know when you're, you're getting ready to use one of these words or one of these expressions, you think, oh, here's the big moment, ah, I've, I've learned this new word and, and I understand it, I'm gonna use it. But it definitely doesn't feel normal, yeah? It doesn't feel natural. And from there, we go to the fourth level. The fourth level is you can use it correctly. It forms part of your normal vocabulary and you feel comfortable using the word. This is a great level to have your vocabulary at, but it's not quite the final level. And the final level is, it just feels right. This is where the word really takes on a personality of its own, right? It really just feels right. These are the kind of words that you just say without even thinking about them, right? They're that ingrained in your brain. They feel that comfortable. For example, I am learning Spanish and there is an expression. Yeah, there's an expression in Spanish that basically expresses surprise. It's like, wow, or oh my gosh. But it also expresses disapproval. Like, hey, what are you doing? I don't really like what you're doing. And so I had learned this expression. So one day I was carrying a heavy suitcase through a train station and these two kids ran in front of me and I almost tripped over them. And without even thinking about it, I said, Pero bueno! Hey, the expression just came out. It just felt right. Yeah, and I thought, hey, look at that. Pero bueno. I have a new relationship with this expression. Yeah? And so that's where we want to get as many words as possible. So our job as educators is to help students to move the words up from one level to the next. If they don't know a word, well, we introduce it to them so that at least it sounds familiar. And then from there, we go up to the next level. Ah, they can understand it in context, but they can't use it. After that, we bump it up to the next level, and the next level, and the next. And not all the words and expressions travel at the same rhythm. Yeah? Sometimes it takes more repetition or more studying to get different words to go up to the next level. And that's just natural. That's the natural way we learn languages. But that is our challenge as educators, to help students move the vocabulary up the pyramid. Okay. Well, thank you very much for listening. I hope this has been helpful. And if you want, go ahead and like or subscribe, make a comment. We appreciate it all. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.